Star Citizen Alpha 3.10 is now available on the Open PTU, meaning anyone with a game package now has access as long as you copy your account across to the PTU environment from the account settings section of the RSO website, and then on the launcher, change it from live to PTU. Bam, you're in. We also had a 3.10.0 RPTU patch that came with this as well, which updated a few little bits, which I'll go over very briefly now. Ships are less likely to get squished by hangar doors and the doors shut on them in hangars. There was loads of problems with people being able to try and land in hangars and the doors weren't opening or they were closing too quickly or they were too squishy on your shippy. They've added targeting pip changes for when the target is out of weapons range, which is highly useful. They've decreased the amount of 3D rotation the aiming reticle has at high angles to give a clearer crosshair. The jettison cargo keybind, which is very useful if you're wanting to jettison quantanium that's unstable, is now left Alt and J. They've improved flight characteristics of the 600 series in space and atmosphere, and they've reduced the damage and speed of size 2 and size 3 sledge match drivers. They are trying to push those out of the these are just the best meta that was sort of like in 3.9. So there's some other bug fixes here as well. Security scans will now recognize the drugs on board a player's ship during the drug production run missions. Emotes should now correctly work. Ground vehicles should no longer be pushed off the elevators when a player attempts to store them in the 600i or the 8 at 90 jump. And they fixed one client crash and three additional server crashes. They are still trying to plow through some of the more pressing bugs and blockers, although they are getting through that list now. But now is the time for you to get involved and have your say on the flight model, combat and targeting, and well, obviously everything else in the patch. But those um, things need to be tested a lot at the moment before the patch goes live and after the patch goes live as well. I mean, it's not, oh no, you didn't have your say at the time. Now it's going to be like this forever or anything. Um, it's just now you get much more rapid iteration on a patch during the PTU phase than you would on a live build typically. So we've got ship flight in and out of atmosphere that's being looked at, updated building blocks, ship UIs for all flyable ships, high speed combat changes, turret gameplay, the Origin M50 improvements, electron FPS weapons and electron damage. So that's the new Lightning Bolt Co sniper rifle and pistol, which are worth testing. They're cool. Body dragging, the trading app, the new targeting methodology and delivery mission improvements because now delivery missions chain and they're actually pretty cool or at least um, more interesting uh, I suppose and it looks like Cloud Imperium are trying to push for a 3.10 live patch for this weekend if possible but it's going to be based on blockers and how ready that um, sort of PTU is for a live release candidate. I'm interested to know your experiences on 3.10 if you've been able to play it in the PTU. It's seen some big changes, especially to its core systems, even between the PTU iterations. Uh, so sort of bear that in mind. Its targeting has changed a few times. Do you enjoy the new flight, combat and targeting stuff in 3.10.0? R is the current patch or, or beyond that. Do you think that the trading app is a game-changing thing like I do? Being able to send money to other players? That, that's pretty big. How are bugs and stability for you? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'm also a massive shill for NordVPN. Check out the links below if you want discount on that and you're looking for a VPN. Shadow gaming PCs, if you want to not own your own gaming PC, but you want to rent one and you can use your power of your internet to leverage that and it's a really good choice for a lot of people, check that out. Shadow gaming links below as well. We're giving a Banu Merchantman away as well throughout July. All we've got to do to be in for a chance of win that is comment on any of my Star Citizen videos made during the month. There's more details of all of that down below. Also, if you want to further support the channel in any way with a patreon or becoming a youtube member or sharing the video or subbing or liking you can do all that as well links to everything's down below please check that out thanks very much for watching guys you take care and i'll see you in the verse